Hello, fifth graders. This is chapter two, lesson five of our ecosystem restoration unit. For lesson five, we are going to be skipping activity one. So let's go ahead and get started. So remember that we are investigating this question. Where does energy in an ecosystem come from? We've done a couple things to help us answer this question, including simulations and reading some books. So let's pause and take a minute to think about what this answer might be. When we read Matter Makes It All Up, we saw this food web. It is an Everglades swamp food web. So you can see at the bottom we have marsh grass, we have bladderwort plant and microscopic algae. As we move up, we have young mosquito, frogs, grass, carp, marsh rabbit, we have blue heron, American alligator, and a raccoon. We read Energy Makes It All Up in a previous lesson. You can refer back to this book if you are unsure about how energy moves through an ecosystem or about the role of an, the sun in an ecosystem. Use the table of contents to help choose the sections you want to review. Now let's look at the paths that energy takes through an ecosystem. As each group presents, think of what the groups have in common. So let's start at marsh grass. This is our plant. And remember the arrows point to the direction the energy is going. So the energy from the marsh grass goes up to the rabbit. The energy from the marsh rabbit then goes into the American alligator. Another path we can go is marsh grass. The energy goes into the grass carp. And then from there, the energy from the grass carp goes to the blue heron, and the energy from the blue heron goes to the American alligator. So one thing I notice that they have in common is that the alligator seems to be the top, which it is the top predator of this food web. Another thing that I notice is that all the energy is going up in this diagram and starts at some type of plant, and then it goes through a herbivore, and then after it goes through the herbivore, it goes into a omnivore or a carnivore, and it ends at a carnivore. Hmm. Did you notice anything else? These are some questions to ask about ecosystem models. Why does your model show that? Why do you think that? How do you know? And what is your evidence? Let's look at some important food web vocabulary. A producer is a living thing that makes its own food, such as a plant. So that would be our microscopic algae, our grass, or our bladderwort plant. A consumer is an animal that eats plants, animals, or both. So anything above our plants, these are all consumers. A decomposer is a consumer that obtains energy by breaking down the dead. I do not see any decomposers in this image, but remember they're, stop, they're things like bacteria or mushrooms. A herbivore is a consumer that only eats producers or plants. So in this case, our herbivores are a rabbit, grass carp, and a young mosquito larva. Carnivores are consumers that only eat meat. So that would be our great American alligator, and an omnivore are consumers that eat both plants and animals. So that would be our raccoon and maybe our great blue heron. So question one, where does the energy in the food web come from and how does it move through the food web? Explain your answer. To answer this question, you can write the answer in your chapter two, lesson five activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video and answer this question now. Question two, what is similar about all the paths the energy took through the ecosystem, and what is different? Remember, if you follow the arrows, that is the path that the energy took. To answer this question, you can write the answer in your 
chapter five or cha chapter two, lesson five, activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you or you can think about your answer in your head. Pause the video again and answer this question. Let's try to answer the question we've been investigating. Where does energy in an ecosystem come from? So think back to the food web we just looked at, any books we might have read, and our simulations. To answer this question, write the answer in your chapter two, lesson five activity packet in a notebook. You can talk about the answer with someone near you, or you can think about it in your head. Once again, pause the video and answer this question. The key concept that we have solidified in our last couple investigations is energy is an ecosystem that can always be traced back to the sun. So keep this in mind as we move forward. 